Hey, hey Ty, you know, if I uh, wasn't a, a basketball player, I got my degree in government, so I might do something in the, in the government field. Hey Jeff, you know, I'm loving life in Indiana. It's a little bit different than D.C., a lot slower pace, but, you know, I, I enjoy it a lot. Sam, my favorite team growing up was the Lakers and the Celtics, actually, unfortunately. Um, but uh, my, favorite, my favorite player was Shaq, actually, and uh, just being a seven-footer and as dominant as he was. Hey, David, you know, it was an exciting game. You know, I tried to play my best, and I, I think I had a good game. But uh, Dwight Howard's a challenge, and he's a low down there. I, I tried to do my best, so hopefully I could uh, grow from that. And it, it, it was fun playing against Dwight. Hey, Mike, the, the NBA is a lot faster. They have uh, better talent, the best players in the world. So, I mean, the speed is a lot faster, but the talent is incredible. LeBron, Kobe, all those guys you have to go up against every night. So, it's fun. Uh, Luke, thanks. Uh, first of all, number 50 was uh, my older brother Greg's number in high school, and we played on the same high school basketball team. And whenever he graduated, uh, our head coach uh, made me carry on the legacy of my brother Greg. So ever since then, I've just been wearing 50. Most memorable game, uh, probably beating uh, Michigan State, just because that's the last game I played, and also it's a national championship. But most memorable game, I would I would say, uh, you know, besides that would be us beating Duke at uh, um, in the Dean Smith Center uh, my senior year on senior night. Daniel, thanks. Uh, I listen to everything. I mean. Uh, I listened uh, from uh, rock to rap to country. You know, I, I call it all. I mean, nothing's off limits. Uh, you know, I just don't do a lot of punk rock. Thanks, Sam. Uh, my favorite player growing up would probably be Michael Jordan. Um, and, you know, I watch a lot of different players, uh, but, uh, you know, everybody loves MJ. Thanks, Mike. Uh, I, th I would say the main difference in the speed of the NBA versus college is guys are a lot faster. They may not go up and down the court, um, you know, more, but I would say, you know, their first step is a lot quicker. Everything's just a little quicker. Not necessarily the game speed is up and down faster, but the moves and things like that are a lot faster. Uh, thanks, Christian, for the for, for the question. Um, point guards can have advantage because the game is more mental than it is physical, and knowing the game, knowing knowing, knowing everyone's um, you know style of play, everyone's role on the team, and you always have a quickness advantage. And you know, attacking the lane, penetrating, scoring, just just keep other guys un, unbalanced and keep other ladies unbalanced, and just continue to attack. Question. Uh, Thanks, Aaron, for the question. Um, actually, my best friend who plays for the Clippers, Baron Davis, was probably five, six, till actually the 10th, 11th grade. He just grew. So you never know what could happen. He continued to work hard, and great things happen for him. But just keep believing in yourself. And I think guys, you know, work ethic is always going to carry over to the next level. And as you get older, you get stronger, quicker, taller, and you're going to still compete. Uh, thanks, Sam, for the question. My favorite player growing up was Magic Johnson in the NBA and Jason Kidd in college. Uh, he went to Cal Berkeley, and, you know, I enjoy watching all good teams play. Uh, Danny Manning at, at Kansas back in the day was, was very good, and um, he was a great player. And at the same time, a chance to see the Bulls kind of grow into a championship form team was always amazing. And then as I got older, I always wanted to go to UCLA, so Reggie Miller became one of my favorites. And thanks, Mike, for the question. Um, the best singer on the team is Danny Granger. He votes for himself, so we don't know how true that really is. And the best dance moves, um, he probably will vote for himself again, Danny Granger. Um, he has a you know unique form of dancing, unique, a very unique voice that um, I've never heard in my life, but he, he just assumes it's the greatest thing that exists. <laughs> thanks.